This is video of 25-year-old Luis Perez when he was brought into the Dallas County Jail last Friday. Dallas police arrested him for DWI and turned him over to the Dallas County Sheriff's Department after he was seen and cleared by nurses at the jail. Dallas police officers left around 6 a.m. According to the Sheriff's Department, around 7.30, he appeared to have a seizure and was taken to Parkland, where he died. The Sheriff's Department said because he had not been arraigned, he was technically still in the custody of Dallas police. Police Chief Eddie Garcia said the death was tragic and needed to be investigated and accused the Sheriff's Department of finger pointing. How is an individual cleared by jail medical staff, accepted into the jail, then held without DPD officers present, all told for more than six hours, considered to be in our physical custody? The sheriff answered back, saying, the Dallas County Sheriff's Office is clear that no fingers are being pointed. The goal is to review this incident and evaluate any areas needing improvement. Both agencies are now investigating. Across the Metroplex in Tarrant County, there are concerns about the death of 24-year-old Traylon Wormley, who died in custody. My son didn't deserve to die inside of Tarrant County with an advocate such as myself. His mother says he had medical issues after being shot twice. So when he was arrested in January for aggravated robbery, she asked that he be moved to a medical pod. They didn't listen to me and give him the help that he needed. Advocates say more than 40 people have died in Tarrant County Jail since 2019. We are demanding justice for this family and we are sick and tired of seeing too many people dying in the custody of Tarrant County. Tarrant County issued a statement saying Wormley was found unresponsive in his cell and taken to JPS Hospital where he died. They say multiple agencies are investigating his death. In Dallas, I'm Rebecca Lopez.